What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to the channel and in this video guys, I'm actually gonna walk you guys through, um, screen record actually, um, and show you guys how one of my stores actually generated $124,960.15 for the month of December, okay? So that's the video, guys. We're just gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna explain to you guys, you know, like kind of what we did to build up to, to this point, right? To actually launch like a, a campaign of that kind of scale. And then kind of just what we actually did to, to, to generate those sales, right? Like what did we do? Influencers, Facebook ads, like there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do and play with and tinker to get uh, results, right? Cause there's a lot of different methods that work for Shopify dropshipping, but I'm gonna show you guys what worked for me and um, this store so let's just hop right into it guys the screen recording is gonna be on right now <laughs> what's up guys we are in the screen recording now as you can see um right here for these last for this last month um in december we actually got 124,960 dollars and 15 cents in sales now as you can see guys first of all, i want to give you guys like a little backstory right um compared to the prior month right the prior month this store was averaging anywhere from you know a thousand to two thousand a day in sales as you can see by the grand bar over here, and then for the first week, week and a half of December, it was still averaging, you know, one, two k day, a few, um, you know, up and down from there. But then we launched a Facebook campaign, okay, and that's when we just blew things out of the water and scaled essentially to, you know, hey, we're doing, you know, on December twenty, on Christmas Day, ten thousand dollars worth of, you know, in, in revenue generated, okay. So that's, you know, the, the I guess the, the the social proof or whatever for you guys to actually see, like, oh. Snap, this store did generate that much, guys. And this is a store that I run with some um, two other people, but we have actually refreshed this for you guys, um, just so you guys don't think it's like Photoshop or anything like that. But this is this this is one of this is one of the sites, okay? So how do we actually get you know these results? Or like how how do we generate these results? Okay? Alright. How do we start, right? So one, as you guys know, as I always preach, especially just in, in my course and my free mini courses, link in description, always plug, but how I preach is, hey, we start off with influencer marketing, right? We use influencers on Instagram specifically to build up our pixel, right? So we take influence from Instagram. We somehow, right, through shout outs, story feeds, you know, live plugs, anything like that, get traffic to our website, okay? There's a whole funnel and cycle along that just to show you guys how to, you know, capture eyeballs from some other user's account, okay? Get them to your Instagram account, get them from your Instagram account to your website, get them from your website, to a conversion, okay? There's a whole kind of funnel process just in that in itself that we talk about that I also talk about in a lot of videos here on the channel as well. Um, there's also, you know, Instagram free mini courses, but that's besides the point. Uh, so that's, that's you know, the, the funnel and just, hey, this is what we do as, you know, a less of, uh, you know, budget intensive, I guess, um, method for scaling and just starting to generate revenue and just collecting that data that we need so that we can then begin to scale it really hard on paid platform ads, especially with Facebook and stuff like that. And so that, that's what we used to, you know, build up that data. And then even for November, guys, November, we were running Facebook ads, just not at the scale that we did towards the end of the month um, for December, okay? So you use influencer ads to kind of collect data, all right? You know, hey, who's your demographic? Who's adding to cart? Who's purchasing? All this kind of stuff Facebook is collecting when you add, you know, your Facebook pixel ID to your Shopify site in the settings. And then you're driving traffic from these Instagram influencers to your website in an attempt to get them to convert. Now, after you've built that pixel data up, okay, that's where we're going to look at Facebook ads, okay? And with Facebook ads, that's where you actually begin to start scaling your store, okay? And if I'm correct, for these, for, for, for our ad campaign, we were spending anywhere from $800 to $1,100 a day in ad spend to generate, you know, these, these kind of results. So it was about... I'd say, I mean, on any, any, any kind of day, we'd have anywhere from like a, a three to seven X return on our ad spend, even more at, at most points. But that's kind of what we were looking at spending just so you guys get interest. I want to actually show, like, show you guys like a walkthrough, like, hey, this is what we did to, to kind of build up the, the data we wanted to use, okay? And then, hey, this, this month, like the month of November, it was just kind of cruising, right? One to two K a day, nothing like crazy. Um, but I mean, it's, it's good money. And then we were like, okay, hey, let's you know scale the crap out of it. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can blow it up. And so we did that. And so for this month of December, you see it's $124,000, guys, I'm 20. But um, that's, that's also besides the point, guys. It's four in the morning here. Um, so, so 
um, yeah, guys. So basically, that that's that's literally the process is in its most simplified form. Is hey, we go from Instagram traffic. Okay, we use that traffic to build up data that we can then use to go to Facebook and then scale it up, right? So even with influence ads, you might only be doing you know 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 a day in sales, right? But you're using that data, using that that volume, that traffic, all the all the things that come from those influencer shoutouts to your website. You're using that data to then scale with Facebook ads. Right, so that that's kind of the point. That's how you go from five hundred a day to you know a thousand a day, a thousand a day to two thousand, two thousand to five thousand a day. Okay, so that that's kind of what you do. Obviously, with Facebook ads, gets like a little bit more complex and just like are you you know manually bidding, automatic bidding, your targeting, kind of how you're targeting. But again, guys, that's why the Facebook pixel in your store is so vital, I guess you could say, and just building that up, making sure it's a quality demographic that you're collecting from. Right, because again, if you're not getting sales to your store, guys. With your pixel on, you you don't you don't want to scale with with that kind of audience, right? Like does that does that, does that make sense? Like you don't want to scale up a site, like scale up. You're not actually gonna scale up. Um, to attempt to scale up a site that's not making very much money with that kind of audience that the the pixel is like it knows, right? Just from the traffic that you sent your way, and then try and take that and then multiply it, right? Because then you're gonna be one wasting a lot of money to try and get someone to purchase. And it's just not going to be worth your time. You're not going to have a good ROI. Um, none, none, none of those, you know, none of those things will be compatible. So, the trick or like the the, the essence of it is, hey, you need influencer shoutouts, right? You need to source these influencers properly. Okay, make sure you're actually working with legitimate influencers that have a legitimate presence, right? A lot of these people, um, and especially just because like the state of the market and everything else like that is just there, there's a whole market of influencers that just want to get dropshippers money. And that it, it sucks for for us and for you guys, right? Especially those, those new guys who are just getting their feet wet, because that that's who they kind of prey on. But it's like they they buy fake followers, they buy fake engagement, so that you go to their account and they charge you, you know, cheaper rates than actual quality accounts. But then you go with them, and you're not actually, you know, getting your shout out in front of anyone because it's a fake. It's all fake, right? So that that's the number one thing to be kind of cautious of when you first start off is like, um, especially you know, with, with with my cycle that I preach and everything like that that we do. Um, it's like, are you, you know, working with these good influencers, okay? And if you are, then good. That that that's a very key step. That's a major, you know, piece in this funnel. And then it goes into your caption, your shout out, the imagery you use, the call to actions in your shout outs, like all that kind of stuff, guys. That's what it takes to get traffic to your Instagram page from your Instagram page to your website, okay? Now, me personally, especially with this store and everything else, it's we use really really quality content. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys know my Insta feed or anything like that, but my Instagram for you guys, like, I, I really stress content, like good quality content. Okay, and so if you have good content, right, one, you're 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 positioning your brand more authoritatively. Two, you're actually positioning it as genuine, authentic, and different from everyone else who's posting those white background pictures, those AliExpress stock images, all that kind of stuff. You're 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 separating yourself from that, right? You're separating from yourself, and you're looking better than than everyone else who's doing that. Okay, so that's a key, key, key thing because then people are like, oh, this is actually a really cool brand. They're not just calling you, you know, some random reseller site, right? They actually can like it's 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 psychology. Right? They they think of your like of 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 your reseller site as a brand. Okay, and that's how you're positioning it. Because again, it's all perspective. It's like how are you angling your brand, right? And one, are you more luxury? Are you you know more cheaper, affordable goods? Like it's all this kind of branding. How you're how you're positioning yourself is what's kind of gonna play a key role to at least gain customer trust, gain customer interest, and ultimately get them to convert on your website. Okay, so again, with the caption, the actual imagery we use for our influencer shoutouts, good content, like good quality content that we actually post. Okay, this is supposed to grab their attention. It's it's just like email marketing, guys. And again, you might not be familiar with that, but the whole point of email marketing, in a sense, right, it has the same kind of funnel as, as an Instagram shout out, okay? Email marketing, the subject of the email is supposed to draw users' attention to get them to actually open it, okay? Now, once they've opened it, the whole body of the email is supposed to get them to actually click whatever, you know, they're talking about in that email, okay? And then from there, it takes them to the website, the website's job is to convert them, okay? This works very, very similar to Instagram shout outs, okay? The whole picture you're using is supposed to capture their attention, right? Make them interested in whatever they're saying or curious, right? So provoke some sort of emotion from it because it's good content, right? Then they look at the caption because like, oh, what is this, right? I'm kind of curious, like, what is what it is? They look at the caption. From the caption, right? The caption job is supposed to, you know, you have two call to actions. You talk about the product. You maybe offer an incentive like a coupon or something like that, okay? Then from there, the caption's job is to drive traffic to your Instagram business profile, right? Your, your, your Instagram page for your store. And then from there, right, you have your website in the, in the, in the bio, and then you know, you've been posting this good color content. You already look like a really nice quality brand. Boom, 
customer trust right there. You're like you, you look good as a brand, right? And since they've already visited your page, they've already shown some kind of interest or curiosity because you've already done a good job provoking that in the shout out and the imagery and the caption. And now all you have to do is get them to click to your website. And if you have that good content there, they're going to click through to your website. And they're gonna go to your website and now your website's job is to convert them. Okay guys, so that's that's the gist of it on just the, the first the first portion of it, right? How do you actually get traffic from Instagram and actually get that traffic and build it up through um through 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 you know that pixel data eventually so you can then begin scaling with Facebook ads and actually putting a lot of money into you know budgeting for those Facebook ads. But yeah guys, so that's that's the, the beginning portion of it with with you know driving traffic from Instagram to to Facebook and then the, the big dollars, right, or like the, the scaling is with Facebook ads or just paid platform ads, right? Instagram sponsored posts, um, you know, carousel ads, just display, net uh, display network is kind of iffy, but uh, just with Facebook ads in general, guys, scaling with that after you've curated a really quality audience um, from Instagram traffic, from all that kind of stuff is, is literally how we scale these stores and how we like blow them up, right? So that's, that's the quick little video, guys. Uh, I just want to touch on it and just like, Show you guys like it's 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 really possible to, to generate crazy crazy results with Shopify dropshipping. It's like no dropshipping is not dead. There's all these clickbaits out there. Is dropshipping dead? No, it's not dead. <laughs> you might just suck at marketing. Okay, so just learn how to market, guys. Learn how to actually generate curiosity. Learn how to generate traffic to your store. Get eyeballs to your store, and then you could be looking at some really quality results. Okay, um, that's the gist of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment. I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are growing very fast and I'm posting a video a day guys so if you are interested you know check the videos down below I'm sure you'll find something of interest um, and that's that's the video guys be sure to check out the free mini courses at the ecom hub link in the description guys they're literally free I kind of go into more depth about everything that I just mentioned okay and then there's the Shopify master course you know I, I gotta plug it guys it's, it's, it's what I made but basically guys it's me and I brought in a bunch of other studs that are just really good at what they do like Facebook or marketing um, into shout outs like all that kind of stuff just to get their perspective as well but it's an all-inclusive mastery course that literally kind of goes over like everything like literally everything, website stuff, app stuff, influencer marketing, you know, sourcing that, uh, scaling with Facebook, manual bidding, all ev everything, guys. That's why I call it the all-inclusive master course because it's like everything. Okay, guys, so that's, that's the gist of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.